Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be showing you how to SSH to a VM for remote development in VS Code. So basically what this allows you to do is to develop within VS Code as if you're writing on a VM. So say if you're using a Windows computer, you can SSH to a Linux VM and it'll be as if you're developing on a Linux environment, but allows you to stay within the comforts of your own operating system and VS Code environment. So it also may be faster than actually working on a VM. So you may already have an IP address that you can SSH to, in which case you can skip ahead in the video. But if not, you may need to do some configuration within your VM in order to make sure that you're able to SSH. You should open up your VM, go to the terminal, and first uh, install something called open SSH server. So you can do this by saying sudo apt install open SSH dash server. So mine is already installed, as you can see. The next thing you need to do is enable the SSH. So you can check this by saying sudo systemctl status SSH. And you can see here it says active. And that's what you want to see. If it's not active, you can say sudo systemctl uh, start SSH. And it'll start your SSH server. And the final thing you should check is whether you have a firewall that's going to block your local machine from connecting to your VM. You can do this by saying sudo ufw status. And you can see that my firewall is active, but it allows for uh, some connections. So you can either just stop the firewall by saying this command. And then if I go back and check, the uh, firewall is inactive. Or you can say uh, sudo ufw allow ssh and sudo ufw enable. And that'll basically allow for the firewall to be active as well as still allow the ssh connections to go through and run the command ifconfig. Here you'll see on the second line, it has this address next to the word inet. That's the address that you need to SSH onto the VM. You can go back to VS Code, and you need to install this remote SSH extension. Once you do that, you may need to restart VS Code, but you can go back to uh, the home page and click on this arrow button in the bottom left corner of your window. You're going to search for connect to host, and here you can configure your SSH hosts. So you're gonna click on this config file and you're gonna to add to this file host and give it a name, host name. And the host name is the IP address and the user is just the name of the username on your VM. So mine is CloudNet. Host, this is just a name to keep track of what this connection is. Host name is the IP address, user is the username on your VM. Uh, once you finish this, you can X out of the config file, click on this, icon on the bottom left again, click connect to host and choose demo or whatever name you gave it from the list of uh, hosts. Now you can see a new window opened up and it's connecting. It's gonna ask me for the password to my uh, VM, which I'm gonna enter. And now it's basically connected to my VM. As you can see on the bottom left, it says SSH demo. So just as an example of what you can do with this, I can go to explore, open any folder on my VM within VS Code. So if I just go to desktop, I don't have any files yet. And once I'm within desktop, I'm just gonna add a file here. So let's say hi.txt and just write hi and save it. So basically what this is doing is I'm acting as if I'm uh, working on the VM, but I'm doing it from within VS Code from my own local machine. If I go back to the VM, I can see that I have this hi.txt file, which has shown up. Again, like you can basically have a code file that is on your Linux or whatever VM, and you edit it from within VS Code and then all your changes will be saved on the VM. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.